Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Molly with the Brooks Museum of Art and today we are going to create an Art Nouveau style of wall hanging. Right now the Brooks Museum has an exhibit called La Fichomania and this is the passion for French posters. Now in the late 1870s, anyone walking down the streets of Paris would have seen these beautiful colorful posters plastered all over the city and they would be advertisements, announcements, and they were very different from what you used to see, which used to just be black and white. And now there were these colorful works of art that were advertisements, and they were all over the place. By the 1880s, you would see them everywhere. Artists used printmaking to create these beautiful posters. These posters were in the style of Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau was an ornamental style of art that used plants and flowers in their designs. They used lots of curves and flowing curvy forms. Art Nouveau was about making art out of everything. You would see it in the architecture, you would see it in furniture design, and even in day-to-day -day items that people used. It was about making the everyday beautiful. So we're gonna take some inspiration from the exhibit that's going on at the museum right now, but instead of doing printmaking, what we're actually going to do is we're going to use fabric. We're gonna make wall hangings in the style of these Art Nouveau posters. So I want you to think about your poster. What are you trying to sell? Is it an advertisement for your favorite food or maybe something that you would wear? Or is it an advertisement for a movie or a play or a ballet? So I want you to think of what is it that you're trying to sell. And then from there, I want you to sketch out some ideas so you can get a piece of paper and a pencil and you can draw out some ideas that you have. But remember, with this advertisement, we need to include the wording so that people know what it is that we're selling. And you need to come up with a design. So I want you to take some inspiration from those Art Nouveau prints and I want you to think about how you'll incorporate that. So for me, today, I'm going to be making a poster for a ballet. Now this can be a loose interpretation, so for me, what I'm going to do is I want to take some of those soft curves and those floral designs and I'm going to incorporate those into my wall hanging. So you can use any fabric to do this. I actually got this canvas, it's kind of a gray canvas, um, and I'm going to cut this out so that it'll fit on the dowel rod that I have. Now, okay, so this dowel rod is 13 inches long. So I am going to cut out fabric so that it's 11 inches by 24 inches long. Now, it really can be any size that you want. You just wanna make sure that you have enough room on the ends to tie your string to hold this up so that we can put this on the wall. Now, if you don't have a dowel rod, that's okay. You can use a, a branch from outside. You can go look for, you know, something that's fallen on the ground. It's, it can be something really simple. But you're going to need either a dowel rod or a branch. Some fabric that's going to be the background of your wall hanging. You'll need some additional fabrics to use for your wall hanging. And it really can be anything. You could use old fabric from old t-shirts or just anything that you find around the house. You're gonna need a good pair of scissors. Either a fabric pen or a pencil or pen would be fine. And then, you're gonna need some thread and some needles. Now. I'm going to actually use my sewing machine. So if you have a sewing machine, you're welcome to use your sewing machine or you can hand sew this. It's really up to you. I also recommend using some pins. That'll help this process go along a lot smoother. Now, if you're not comfortable with your child sewing with a needle and thread, you can always use a glue stick and just have them glue the fabric down. That would work fine too. Okay, so with this, I really like this floral fabric. It has a very Art Nouveau feel to it. Just with the floral design and the framing around it, I think that one worked nicely. 
Now I've got a couple of other fabrics that I want to try, but I really like this larger print. I think what I'll be able to do is cut these flowers out and use them in my design for my wall hanging. So I want to make sure that I have enough room at the top of my background fabric to create a loop so that I can put my dowel rod through. So you want to make sure you have plenty of space and it's going to kind of depend on how thick your dowel rod is but I think for the most part you can just if you measure I really think from the top down I think if we got about four inches that should give us plenty of room so I'm just going to measure and I just need to mark my fabric at that four inch mark and then that's going to show me where I can start the skirt that I'm putting on there and it's also going to let me know where I need to sew to give me enough space for that dowel rod to go through the fabric. So this is going to be where the skirt is going to go at the top and I think I'm going to use this floral fabric for my skirt. And I just want to make sure that I have enough of that floral fabric so that I can really pleat it and make make it look more like a ballet skirt and I want to make sure I have plenty of room at the bottom for my wording and then I need to take into account how big my point shoes are going to be and where the legs are going to go so it's just going to kind of if I just do a couple of markings I'm going to go four inches from the bottom that'll help me know exactly how much space I need for my wording and then that'll also be the bottom of where my point shoes go and so now I need to figure out how much of my fabric is going to go at the top for my skirt. So what I've got to do with this is I really need to figure out where the middle of the fabric is and then I'll just pin it in the middle and then that'll help me know exactly how much pleating I can do on either side so that it's even because I don't want to start on one side and then pleat too much on one side and not have enough room for the pleats on the opposite side. So I'm just going to cut and I'm going to cut just kind of a rough cut on this just because I want a little bit of texture and that way it'll kind of look like um, just like a more realistic ballet skirt. So it just kind of zigzag back and forth and that's going to give me a little bit more texture. And then I've got my fabric and all I have to do to for this is I'm just gonna fold it in half and then you'll see I'm just gonna pin the half at the half mark and then pin at the ends and then I'll just gather and pin as I go along with all of my little pleats and that'll help me it doesn't have to be perfect but it'll help me get an idea of where my pleats are gonna go and I will just sew directly on top of this. So it just kind of helps as a little guide to see where my pleats are gonna go and make sure that they're nice and even. So I'm gonna continue pinning this and then I am going to figure out the placement of everything else. Pin down the skirt. I made my little pleats and pin that down so that I can sew straight across with this when I'm ready. But now I need to make the legs. So I actually am gonna take my phone and I'm going to look up a picture of a dancer so that I can get an idea of how I want my legs to go. And so I found a nice picture of my dancer. So I'm just going to just kind of sketch this.
I've marked my canvas so that I have four inches at the top here and I've got four inches at the bottom. Now the four inches at the top is so that I can tuck this over and I can sew a little tab so I can slide my dowel rod through. So my little legs and my feet actually need to end here. So I'm going to make my feet here, my legs here, and then my wording is gonna go down here. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna use this kind of lavender fabric, but in order for me to really get an idea of how this looks, I'm gonna have to iron this because those creases are gonna drive me crazy. So I'm gonna iron that very quickly and then I'll come back to the board. Okay, so now that I have these two, I can get a better idea of where my point shoes are gonna be. So I'm gonna make my point shoes here. Okay, so I have the skirt pinned, I have the legs cut, and the little point shoes cut. So now what I need to do is I need to place my letters underneath. So I'm going to have to figure out which fabric I want to use for my letters and the style of the font that I want to use. So I'm gonna play with that now. Okay, so I've decided, originally I was going to do Spring Has Sprung, and that was going to be the name of the dance, but now I think I'm going to simplify it to just spring. And since I have four inches here and 11 inches here, I know that I need to mark my fabric so that I don't go beyond that size, because that would not be good. And I'm just gonna mark so I have an idea of how big my letters need to be. I also have gone and I did a search on the internet, which kiddos, if you're going to do that, you need your parents' permission and their help. But I looked up Art Nouveau fonts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my very best to do this in the style of an Art Nouveau style. I've written out my word, and so I need to cut out my letters, and my letters will go right down here. But before I do that, I wanna make sure that I glue all these little pieces down, because when I take them to the sewing machine, it's gonna be really hard to get them to not move around unless they're glued down. So I'm actually gonna use, um, I'm actually gonna use a fabric glue, but really you can use anything. I mean, any, well, if I can find a fabric glue that has glue in it. There we go. So I'm actually gonna use a fabric glue to glue these down, but you could use anything. I mean, just a, a glue stick would be fine. But. And then I'm gonna cut out my letters and I am gonna add some, I've got some flowers that I found in this fabric that I really love. So I'm gonna cut out some of these flowers and kind of place them around and see where they would work on my little wall hanging. Okay, so I've cut out some flowers from this fabric right here and added that to the bottom of my little wall hanging. And now I am cutting the letters out, which is, very tedious and didn't really want to bore you with all of that. Actually, all of this was kind of tedious.
tedious, but I really like the look of it. And especially with Art Nouveau and all of the flowers and these flowers kind of have, I mean, I know they aren't exactly Art Nouveau, but there's something about them that kind of has that Art Nouveau feel to it. So I am pleased with it. So I'm gonna keep cutting these letters out. I have not glued these down. I'm gonna glue them down, but I wanted to wait to make sure when I place my letters that these did not interrupt the letters too much. So also I wanna make sure that I get the spacing of my letters down before I glue anything else down. So I am going to keep working on that and I will show you my progress in just a bit. Okay, so I have got everything glued down. I've got her skirt pinned. I've got her legs glued down and her point shoes are glued down. And I went ahead and I glued the flowers down and then my letters down. So now I am going to start sewing her. So I've removed the top pins right here. And I've lowered the foot down. So I am going to start sewing. Sew a little bit and then I'm going to do a little back stitch. Make sure that's all safe and tight, secure. And I'm just going to remove my pins as I go along. So now this is all sewn, this is all secure, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create my tab going this way over it so that it keeps that, it covers up that raw edge and that covers this up. So that's not too bad. And now I can put my dowel rod straight through and that's how this will hang. So now I just need to sew the legs on and kind of do some stitches around the outsides of the flower and then the details in the letters. Okay friends, well I'm going to finish sewing this and then I will show you the final product. Okay, so here it is. And I have sewn down my flowers and I have sewn down my letters. So now all I need to do is sli slide my little dowel rod in here. And now I just need to add the string to the top so that she can hang. So instead of just using a rope, I've decided I'm going to actually braid some of the fabrics that I used on my wall hanging, and that way it'll just be a little bit more interesting. So I have got two of the fabrics that I used on my little wall hanging, and then this is just kind of a neutral fabric that I chose. And I'm, I clipped the end of this, and I'm gonna take that little push pin and I'm gonna stick it through my mat so I can kind of pull on this. And all I'm going to do is I am just going to braid this. Now you'll notice this has like a really rough edge to it and that is totally fine because you won't notice it once the braid gets going. Now that I've finished braiding, I'm just going to tie it on either side of my dowel rod. And there we have it. I've got my little wall hanging. Isn't she fun?
Well, boys and girls, thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun today, and I would love to see your creations. So if you share them on social media, be sure to tag Brooks Museum so that we can see your creation. Have a wonderful afternoon, and we will see you guys next time.